Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Encouraging Vessel. This is The Encourager, here with you today, just to have a talk, hoping to encourage you in the word. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe, like, and share button for a wider reach of these um, messages. Today, I'm in the book of Proverbs. And as always, I encourage you to read your manual. Yes, you have a manual. It is called the Bible. So I'm simply just going to read one verse to you. Um, because I believe that is the foundation for what the Holy Spirit is imparting in my spirit to speak to you on today. So we're in Proverbs chapter 3. And we're going to go to verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not onto your own understanding. Trust in the Lord. And I know many that do read the Bible. This is a verse that they overlook many times the Bible is being read or simply um, verses are looked over or skipped or s sometimes you go to the Bible and you're looking for comfort and most of the time a lot of people run to Psalms run to find those um comforting words and yes the bible is there for that and so much more and then there are times there are times that the words are read especially even today in the so-called church and rather than depending on the most high to open our understanding, what we do is lean on our own understanding. As you will see the pastor, the preacher, or the speaker, whatever title they may go by, they will pull a verse out and they will tell you, well, this is what it means, giving you their opinion. And 99% of the time, you grab a hold of that word, not knowing of a surety if it's true because you are not reading your manual. You're therefore depending on another mankind to read it to you and interpret it to you. And there with you're leaning on your own understanding rather than allowing the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit, to impart the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding that you need. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. Lean not onto your own understanding. The Bible is there to teach us, to instruct us, to lead us. It is the living word of the Most High. Everything that we absolutely need or desire is found in the Bible. But many are not reading. And this channel is to encourage you to read 
the manual. It is your book. It is absolutely your book. And you will understand it. But how can you understand if you do not read it? You need no man to interpret it for you. But unfortunately, many are lazy. And I use this word lazy with much emphasis because many want to be told the soft, frilly, comforting words all the time. And while there is nothing wrong with that, because we are human beings, we like to be comforted. In doing so, When the truth comes to you, and usually when the, the, the brunt of the word that is harsh and its truth comes to you, it is not readily received. So I encourage you, as long as the Lord lends me this channel, and lends me breath. I encourage you to pick up the manual. And when you read it, read it with a heart and a mind that is willing to understand. You don't need to put your spin on it. Because the words in the Bible, they will judge you. They instruct, they reprove, they correct everything. They're there for you, for your betterment. But again, I go back to say many are lazy. Many simply rely on a speaker, preacher, teacher to read the word to them. And they walk out of a service and say, well, that was a good message, wasn't it? And they leave unchanged without an understanding. Just relying on what the pastor has said. Well, this is what it means. Wherein you should be proving all things. Because ladies and gentlemen, this is your journey. And I repeat and repeat with emphasis. This is your journey. And no one can do it for you, but you. You are sitting and you're waiting for the Lord Jesus to rescue you. Yet you are not doing anything. Because you don't believe you need to do anything because the speaker, the pastor, the preacher has expressed thus to you. You're being lazy and you're sitting and waiting based on what you've seen in the movie theater or what you've watched on your television with these um, Shows that they've made wherein they say this is how the Lord Jesus is going to appear and you are suddenly going to float up in the air. I'm here to tell you that that is a lie. Read your Bible to get 
the understanding. You're watching the scenarios in life, even the present state of this, what's happening over yonder. And you're saying, Lord, rescue us. Lord, help us. Yet, you are not doing anything. You're not reading your Bible. You're not studying. You're not developing a relationship. And the question begs, whom are you waiting to rescue you? Because if you're not reading your manual, how will you know? Who will rescue you if you don't know who the rescuer is? How will you know if you are not following the instructions that are laid out in the manual? You're not following the commandments. You're not doing as instructed. You are not developing a relationship. But you're sitting and you're waiting to be rescued. You don't understand the seasons of life because you're not reading your Bible and yet you are sitting and waiting oh we fly soon oh come rescue us Jesus these words may be harsh for some to hear but those that have a heart that's willing to understand will receive these words. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to absolutely do your part, but you don't have to take my word for it. The message that I hope you get today in all these videos that I do The ultimate message is read your Bible. It is your manual. It has all the steps. It has all the instructions that you need. Read your Bible to get an understanding, to develop, to start wanting to know who truly is jesus christ is what do you need to do what are the instructions what are the statutes what are the law the laws what are the commandments what do i need to do how do i need to do it and then you will understand the seasons of life as you journey because we're in a season right now and it is being misinterpreted and many are sitting waiting for Jesus to just rescue them yet they are not being wise virgins yet there is no oil in your lamp it is important that you read your Bible it is very important that you study it is very important that you do that with a heart and a mind that's willing to understand and the spirit of truth the holy spirit will meet you and teach you all things the bible is not hard but you have to have a determined mind you cannot allow your emotions to override 
so I encourage you the Bible it is the Word of God no matter what anyone else or channel will tell you it is the living Word of God and I'm sitting in front of you as a living testimony that can attest to many things that the Lord Jesus Christ has done and is doing for me. My life is not coincidental. The events that I encounter or I walk through, they're not coincidental. Jesus Christ is real. But if you are not inviting him, if you are not dedicating your time to wanting to know, to wanting to love him, to desiring truth, to desiring righteousness, you will not know. It starts in the manual, ladies and gentlemen, the Bible. Remember, this is your journey called life. Yes, your life. It is your journey. And I truly hope that you're convicted and that wisdom will expand within your heart of mind and you will truly see that this is your journey and you're not going backwards, you're going forward. Now the destination is totally up to you. And on any given journey, you have a map or a manual and the Bible is all those things. It is your map. It is your manual. It is your compass. So go ahead. It is your manual. This is your journey. And only you can do it. You may get instruct, you will get instructions. You may get instructions. But it is absolutely your journey. And no one can do it for you, but you. Ladies and gentlemen, I repeat, the Bible is your manual. It is your instruction manual. You do yourself a disservice if you do not go through it to see who you are, whose you are, where you are, and where you're headed. I encourage you to share, like, and subscribe to this channel for a, wider, for a wider reach of these messages. And again, thank you for stopping by the Encouraging Vessel. I honestly and truly hope that you are encouraged to pick up your manual today. Be blessed.